I went to Bichimatsuyama Castle in Takahashi in Okayama Prefecture, and Bichimatsuyama is famous for being on the top of a mountain, so you have to climb up a mountain, uh, up mountain trails to get to the castle. And I was really shocked to find that the mountain trails were cemented over. Um, there was concrete on laid over the bottom of the trail and also on the sides of the mountains uh, as you were climbing up the trail. And so what I'd like to do is uh, read an excerpt from Alex Kurd's Dogs and Demons about the um, construction state in Japan and laying cement over everything and at the same time I'd like to show you some video of the trails going up to uh, Beach of Mat Matsuyama. In 1994 concrete production in Japan totaled 91.6 million tons compared with 77.9 million tons in the United States. This means that Japan lays about 30 times as much per square foot as the United States. After generations of laying concrete to no purpose, concrete is becoming a purpose in its own right. The River Bureau prides itself on its concrete technology, the amount of concrete it lays down, and the speed at which it does so. In the case of Miyagase Dam, one of its publications brags, 100,000 cubic meters of concreting was possible in one month. While this record numbers third in the history of dam construction, the other records were set through seven-day work weeks, so this is the best record for a five-day work week. At times, the fascination with concrete reaches surreal heights. In June 1996, the Shimizu Corporation, one of Japan's five largest construction companies, revealed plans for a lunar hotel, with emphasis on new techniques that has developed for making cement on the moon. The Ministry of Construction, like many businesses and public institutions in Japan, has its own anthem. The lyrics of this utopia song, unchanged since 1948, include, quote, asphalt blanketing the mountains and valleys, a splendid utopia, end quote. I think part of the reason that I was so struck by the cementing along the trails up Beach Matsuyama is that um, I grew up in the Adirondack Park region of upstate New York, and so I'm used to the way that the Adirondack Park uh, mountain trails are dealt with, which is uh, quite different from the way that Japan deals with its mountain trails. And so now I'd like to show you a, a clip um, from an instructional video for uh, forestry management about how to create trails uh, in the American mountains. And you'll see it's quite different from... Uh, Horses tend to prefer walking on the outside part of a trail. And bicycle riders like to keep their inside pedal away from the hillside. Rocks installed two to three feet apart will keep this traffic from breaking down the outside edge of the trail. Water bars need yearly maintenance to remove sediment that builds up and clogs both outlet ditches and water bars. Mud and debris should be deposited elsewhere. Clean dirt and gravel can be used to reinforce the downhill side of the water bar. Make sure the uphill grade is still feathered into the water bar and slightly outsloped. During these yearly maintenance inspections, you'll be able to tell if your water bars have been properly installed. If sediment is being deposited on an annual basis, the trail needs more water bars. If a water bar is completely filled, the angle of installation may be too shallow, or you might need more water bars. 